Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the planning and zoning board on March 13th. Everyone will please stand and pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner, posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office and email to the retrospect and the carrier post. Here we have one call, please, Joyce. Chairman McLean, Here. Mr. White. Here. Ms. Kusha. Here. Mr. Pachowski. Here. Uh, Mr. Manella. Here. Mr. Walker. Here. Mr. Laverne. Here. Mayor Fadis. Here. Mr. Renewing. Here. Ms. Dodds. Here. Mr. Lee. Here. Mr. Rowan. Here. Mr. Bach. Here. And Mr. Knight. He is here. Okay. Yeah, he, he just stepped out the call. He is here. Thank you. Okay. Um, next motion in order is a motion for the approval of the minutes of the 213 of 19 meeting as submitted by the secretary. Are there any questions or comments on those minutes? Is there a motion on the floor to approve those minutes? Mr. Ockley, sitting on Mr. Bennell, all in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. Nick, Nick, would you please, this is uh, the KTV training, just to fill out some of the initial and give to Mr. Lee and to Ms. Scott. Thank you. Okay, we have anything under old business? Can I remember, you went to, where shall I talk about the classes? that the, the uh, board members need to take. That's fine. Sure. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Uh, my friend signed up for one Friday night. Mary's taking one April 6th. There are two more members, Mr. B and you, that have to take it. One of the of Burlington. Okay, and uh, can you just let me know? You want to do April 6th too? Oh, okay. That makes it easier, yes. Uh, no. Anything else under old business? Do you have anything under new business? Uh, council did approve the um, the recommendation of the planning board for the study. The uh, I think the clerk can, uh, report that all the paperwork was sent up to the state. All the notices were sent out to the residents. Uh, so I think we're in pretty good shape. I think the next step will be uh, formulating this uh, redevelopment committee, and then the pl and the plan and the committee all that together. So Mr. Bach has provided us with a proposal to do that, and so council just has to approve that and move on. Correct? I think you already approved it. I think I already approved it too. I think, I think you already approved. Uh, we just need the subcommittee of the planning board members and the members of council. They want to go together and look at that. Yes, yeah, so we'll talk about who can come together. Maybe it'll be a, a, a revolving committee of people that might help. Uh, and also, I just want to add again, if this is my May, uh, you you have started as a board receiving various correspondence related to NJDV, New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection applications. This is a new requirement from the DEP that all planning boards uh, receive these notifications. Uh, I'm gonna ask Joyce to just include them in the packet to everybody and always email them to me. Are no action or- What are you talking about? Like for instance, we just got the Churchill letter regarding the, uh, oh. uh, the application for uh, the the yeah, the bridge, which are the protective slips underneath the bridges, but you're going to get all kinds of sure. applications for wetlands or underground storage tank closures, okay. anything that's involved in environmental permit. It's not violations you're talking no, about. No, okay. no, 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 this is just correspondence. Uh, Joyce will share with me the correspondence. No action is required unless I specifically yeah. say, yeah, we have to act. Well, that's why, I, that's why what I did this past week with the turnpike correspondence, I just uh, replied back to you and Mr. Rowan. If we need to take any action as a board, right. once you tell me there's no action to be taken, then we'll yeah, so that's 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 bring this up because you're going to get these. Yeah. All my boards. Who needs that huge binder that I received? Nobody. No one. Nobody. Okay. You just keep it on file, and, and you know, when as part of the planning board file, 
Uh, but again, Joyce is going to explain where Secretary will forward all that correspondence over me. No action is required unless they specifically bring something up. This, this is going to be going forward, you know, what we're going to be experiencing. I just want to make sure if there is action required by the planning and zoning board, just for identification, that we have uh, plenty of lead time yep. to discuss what needs to be done. I'll, 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 I don't I'll want to find out at 6.30. I'll respond back to the police. <laughs> Yeah, and, and in then short get, order, and then get with just Nate. confirming no action, no action, no action, right. or if there's something that needs yeah, to be done. If there's something that requires our action, I'd like to know so we can you know, find out what that action is and then act appropriately. Okay. Thank you. Any other new business? Uh, the only thing I have uh, under my report is that uh, we did, oh, one really cool thing is Breeders Water Ice is moving over to Clements Bridge Road, which is absolutely fabulous. That has been on the Black Horse Pike since they opened up many years ago. It's in the, uh, the little strip mall across from Belmar Collision. Uh, that uh, gentleman that owns that, his name is Chad, uh, he came before us about a year or two ago and asked for a, a new uh, driveway for easy egress out to uh, North Oakland Avenue. And, um, so now he has the entrance off of Clemens Bridge, and they can also get in and out off of North, North Oak Land, and they have plenty of parking with all kinds of room to back up and look out for the kids because the the uh, place that they have on, on the pike was always kind of dangerous, I thought, and um, people were always parking in the peripheral and the dentist area. They were parking into the bait. They were parking in Penny Green. It was Penny Green. So now, Reedus is really going to have their own parking lot for the children, you know, to come in, and um, I think it's a, a, a real plus for for the, the town and, and for the kids. So I was really happy to see that. I think it's going to happen in May, correct, Keith? Their original location, they were speaking about going to the Rocky Plaza, so I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yes, Chad's. Uh, yeah, Chad's place. Are they looking for any tables outside, anything like that? Not to the best of my knowledge. I mean, but there is room. Allow that. Yeah, and there is room for it. Yeah. There's room for it. There's actually. I don't know if he's aware of that. Yeah. Well, um, I know Chad had spoken about you know maybe putting some bollards, you know, years years ago when he first did the driveway. So I mean, if they put bollards there, there's also a nice foul out there where they could they could put some you know, picnic tables for the kids yeah. like Anthony's has. Right in the uh, you know, the uh, little strip mall where the smoke shop is, yeah. right across from Belmont Collision. There's not one the running closet in. No. no, it's got a big sign. It's got a big sign in the window coming in May, and the I think it's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, you picked up an application for variance to, for the walk-up window. Yeah, I, I guess next month will be in in April. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. We must open in May, so I think it's going to be excellent. Um, I'm really happy, I'm really happy about that. And that also lends itself to, you know, if a, if a larger business wants to come in, you know, to that parcel right there, because um, I don't think there's a whole lot going on right there. Yeah, that little strip mall. I mean, that's a, that's a nice corner parcel for Reedus is a six month business. I mean, Penny Green's gone, you know what I mean? So that's a nice little parcel there for somebody to do something with. And as you may or may not know this evening, um, as soon as we close the, uh, the public portion of Food and Welfare, we're gonna have some continued education classes tonight on land use, and that's for, uh, for the borrow for, for JIF and whatnot, so it shouldn't take more than about an hour. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm going to open up the meeting to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on any matter whatsoever, please come to the microphone, state your name and address, and let us talk to you. My name is Mike Buttel. I'm at uh, 34 Smith Lane, 10. I'm coming up about the property at 28 Smith Lane. Okay. When we were here to have the meeting to have the uh, cut from two lots to three lots, we had come to agreement, me and the lawyer, that he was going to square my lot off to 100 foot in the back. I have 100 foot up front. And he was going to square the property line up there and put a privacy fence up. But I haven't been squirting and doing the privacy fence, so I guess I gotta eat that part. But the park, he hasn't squared nothing up, and you know, they're already building houses there. It's yeah, Mr. Just, so we did we did review your application from uh, the date that you uh, were in with Mr. Albano, and um, 
that is not something that was on the application. That is not, um, we, we can't change property, we can't change lot lines. That has to be done at the time of the application. When, when Mr. Albano came in, um, the document that he presented in front of us, I believe you have 75 feet to the one end of it and about 100 to the back of it. That is the lot line that was represented and that is the lot line that was approved. Um, if you want to purchase additional property from him, he will have to do a different subdivision. I don't want to purchase so property. That was an agreement we had that he, the only way I was going to say yay to put three lots is he met this agreement and he agreed to it. Well, if that was an agreement between you and Mr. Albano personally, um, that was not the, that was not the approval that, that this board gave you, or gave him, I'm sorry. It's that the resolution reads that the lot line is 75 on the one end and 100 on the other end. We can't change, at this meeting, we can't change lot lines. That's not something, that's not- So he stuck it to me all the way around that. Well, that I can't speak to. I wasn't privy to that conversation. What I'm saying, what I am saying is that um, if a lot line is to be changed, it has to be changed before it is brought in front of this board and the survey has to explain that explicitly that this is the lot line that we are approving or not. We can't we can't necessarily commit, we can't like move a lot line and sell, and sell somebody else's property from this board. It's not within our I property. thought that was what the meeting was that he could get three lots. We approved, we approved the subdivision. That he, that he could come to the time. I mean, we made an agreement, well, and he's term, not following through it. Well, the, term, the terms of the resolution, um, Mr. Rowan, do you have the resolution there? Mr. Uh, Mr. McNutt, uh, I reviewed it this evening, and there was nothing that said that the neighbor was getting any ground. Right. If that, if that had been an agreement that night, Madam Chairman, we would have had to continue that meeting because it would have had to have been, an, had to have been a resubmission of the subdivision. Correct. Because they, then Mr. Albano would have to subdivide it's part of his ground Correct. and then add it to this gentleman's ground. Yeah, well, I, I am, I'm not lawyer smart. I didn't have any of that clue, but that's, the, that's what I said in the meeting. That's what, I had no problem with him turning it in three lots. As long as he agreed to square my lot off to 100 foot in the back and put the privacy fence up. And he agreed to that just long before he had an annual meeting. And then he played me along right up until he sold this property. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. that's not anything that we have a jurisdiction over. The resolution is written and and it was, um, yeah, when, when, we do, when we do a resolution, um, it's just as it is, as it was put down on paper that evening. And the, the, lot, the lot line of tax map shows 70 on one end or 75 on one end and 100, and 100 on the other end. So unfortunately there's nothing that we can do to help you with that. Uh, Mr. Albano would have to agree to, you know. Yeah, well, that's the lights of that happen. Yeah, I wish we could help you, but it's not something we can, it's not, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not something we can enter into. It's not under our purview. All right, thank you so much. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you. All right. He's moving us all the way around that basket. Yes. Is there anyone else wishing to speak this evening? Come on up here. My name is Patricia Kelly Mandela. I live at 11 East First Avenue, right across the street. I'm curious, when you say you're a redevelopment area and my house is on there, uh, and I have 45 days to change it, um, since I didn't even know about this meeting today and I'm not sure what the hell this is all about, I never see anything else saying that there was going to be a redevelopment period. <laughs> change, change what, man? What are, you, what are you trying to change? Uh, can I answer the question? Challenge the designation. I didn't even know there was a resolution, nor have I seen any paperwork for it. And don't we get to see what you're doing? Yeah, can I, I, can, I can answer the question, hopefully. Um, what we've done at this point is all we did is a study that determined that the Black Horse Pike needs uh, redevelopment. Would you agree that the Black Horse Pike needs redevelopment? It needs some business, yes. Okay. Really so one of the things, exactly. So one of the things we did, by law, we have to evaluate that that area is in need of redevelopment. So we hired our engineer, 
He established that this area was in need. The only reason that your property is part of that redevelopment zone is because we basically made a big square around the Black Horse Pike. The notice you're getting is the second notice. The first okay, notice, first. you understand, uh, the, the first notice was sent out to 300 residents and then we advertised the, in the newspaper. We had a meeting here. There were about 80 residents that showed up. We made it very clear that all we were doing was studying the area. We were determining that it met the requirements that the state gave us. Then this board felt that it met, the, met the, the needs of the redevelopment. It sent it to council and myself and approved that. Nothing has happened. Nothing has changed at this point. The appeal process that you're talking about is if you feel that we misrepresented your property as being a part of the redevelopment area. So I don't believe that, I, I can't speak that you can't have concerns, but there's nothing that we're doing as a board or as, a, as the council to change what your property is right now. If your house is there, it can be there forever. You have nothing that you have to worry and about. To make sure we're clear. So you hear a lot about, and I'm Steve Bach, I'm the board and engineer and planner. Uh, it is a non-condemnation designation. I know. <laughs> okay, but I think it's very, very clear because a lot of things in the paper over the last 20 years about condemnation, like the ones in Town towns and everything else. We're non-condemnation. That means nobody is going to have, nobody, yeah, nobody's going to have any rights to your property unless you give them rights to the property by sale of your property or anything else. So no one's going to be able to be named as a redeveloper on your property. No zoning is going to change on your property unless you you reach a private agreement with someone else. So your house and your zoning, everything else is going to stay exactly like it is. <laughs> and the borough is not going to build anything. The borough is not going to develop anything. We're not going to knock anything down. We're not doing anything. All we're doing is giving uh, yourself and anybody else the opportunity if they want to do something. It makes the process easier for them. And that the borough has the ability to maybe incentivize someone to do something. That's all we've done at this point. There will never be a shovel that you'll see in my hand digging any holes. To, to do this. I will not be knocking down any buildings. So all it is is that if somebody comes to you and comes to other properties and says, I want to do something, it's up to you and there's other property owners. We don't even entertain those conversations until they've already talked to all the residents and made that agreement. And, and they can represent they have. Yes. That's true. Yes. My property was worth $151,000. Okay. I just got the notice. It went down to 140 Is that because it's been redeveloped? Or that doesn't make any sense. We did a reassessment several years ago. What, what piece of paper are you talking about? Are you talking about your tax bill? No, it tells you. The assessment card. Yeah, the assessment card. The assessment card said something, something different? Yeah, now it says 140. Yeah, that's good. Well, no, I'm yeah. not only that, but my tax. real estate taxes went up. I would double check with, with the assessor in town. I mean, it's just right. Yeah, but most people don't complain when their taxes go down or their assessment yeah. goes down. I don't, yeah, I don't think the assessment changed. I would just verify that your assessment probably is the same assessment as last year. So I would just either find your card from last year. You talk to the tax assessor, call the tax assessor in the bar. Yeah, it's going to be on the website. It is on the website. So you can go on there and you can read it and you can see a picture of your house and yeah. that it meets in the, it's in the area. So it's the determination of the study. Let's say verify my office box so it's like your property Yes. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to speak? Um, yeah. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is for Meet your name and address, please. Right. Uh, I'm um, and it's 12 East First Avenue. We're right next to the parking lot. Okay. Uh, it's, and it's actually for Area 15. Um, I, I personally just have some questions on here. Uh, with regards to states that you have to either decide whether you want to be on the list or off the list. Uh, if we decide to be on it, what do we get? And if we don't, there's one well, here it says you have to find 28. You have to start about the appeal here. process. Oh, and it's, it's more of it's more of an appeal of the whole process, not being on the list or off the list. It's right. saying if you believe or anybody believes, it doesn't even have to be a resident, but it could be any party believes that the borough undertook the determination of need study 
and made any errors in the process or any errors in selecting the properties and the criteria. And they're lying and then the Right. So they would say you have the right to appeal that process. Okay. But they're not looking to um, purchase the houses right There's like no that? there's nothing out there right. This is really just a designation of an area of the town included in properties where we had to follow certain criteria according to the housing and or the housing and redevelopment law statute by the state saying properties are need the criteria need a redevelopment like all the properties along the pike that are kind of empty. empty and everything else like that and also this provision so you can have a smart growth planning area that you can include properties like most of the residential properties you include those properties even though they're not in need of rehabilitation but you square off the area for good planning purposes and again it's a non-condemnation uh, and once again, the borough is not buying anything. We're not yeah, buying yeah, anything. Well, you don't want your houses. <laughs> yeah. so if we wanted to buy it, we would, I would have knocked on your door and made it. But that wasn't it. We only did for the parking lot. Because okay. redevelopment has nothing to do with anybody wanting to purchase your properties. Okay, Somebody can purchase their properties if they want to. And your existing zoning stays the same. Okay. The only time when the, the overlay zoning, which would regard every redevelopment plan, whatever be uh, alive or effective okay. is if someone actually made private real estate deal, deals, mm -hmm. assembled a group of properties or a property mm -hmm. and wanted to be designated a redeveloper by, by the property. Right, let me but point. you still have what the you, one to sell. That's the big issue. You, you, you don't have to sell. I have one question with what you had said. Um, with regards to putting the parking lot there, yeah. if you're the first house with the fence? Yeah. Uh, well, the fence basically or whatever needs to be repaired because I saw it's like leaning. The back and forth. They didn't they put enough concrete in the, in um, the uh, and post. If there was a mistake made and we were not told of it, I, just, I don't want to go really into detail, but we were lied to about something with regards to the parking lot. Lied in what way? I'm not lied to, but if there was a mistake made and it was a property line, I understand there is a mistake with the property. There is. And, and I know it's out. permit and they show us that that fact. The <laughs> issue is, uh, you know, it's a public meeting. If you want to bring it up, I'll bring it up. We understand there's a mistake in the property line. We understand that your, uh, I understand that our fence is further back than it should be. That our fen the fence could have been closer to your building. Is that how you understand well, it? Well, it's just yes. it's a that We're happy where the fence is, if that <coughs> makes you happy. I love, I love well, the fence. Okay. I wanted your fence is on our property. Yeah. I'm not positive. I think it's the opposite, but once yeah, again, we had, the, um, we had a survey, and here's the engineer. If he thinks that we surveyed and put the, the, the okay. fence in the wrong spot, we'll move the fence. Well, yeah, I mean, that part doesn't matter, whatever. It's, it's, it's not trying to keep the house. No. I think we're all good. The gentleman, the, the when you guys did the um, parking lot, you know, before everything down, yes. there was a the gentleman that was out there, um, and Andy spoke to him quite a few times. He said, well, this is your line here, and this is, you know, where it ends and everything. Now, what were you doing in the front of the house? As you see, I the saw that. We report that back we got the permit and everything. On the permit, it shows exactly what our space is and what we owe, you know, sure. what uh, belongs to us, the property. Yes. Yeah. And it's it, not it's incorrect. So we can measure this if you want us to come take a look at this and, and see what, what is your concern, though? Well, we want to be we want to be reimbursed for the amount of, I mean, because they took the tree down, which was not theirs. You know, uh, I, I'm under the impression of something different, but we could get a survey done, we can go look at it again and see where it is. I am under the impression of something completely opposite of what you're under the impression of. Who was the gentleman that was there when I, I did the parking lot? There's a lot of gentlemen. Yeah, I don't think he's here anymore, but he stood and told us everything. He's a, um, I, I think this needs to be addressed. Mark Bay I mean, the town engineer is the only one who would have done a survey. It's just when they, when they can we have a survey, we can just... Do you have a copy of the survey? We do not have I have a copy of the permit, from the permit that's showing us our That's card. my name and my email address. If, if you can show us a copy of the survey, we can go out there with a tape measure, we can measure from the edge of your house over and yeah, see what it is. We, we, had, we pulled all the deeds and everything else, when, and we had legal descriptions and title and everything else. I know we did. Oh, no, I believe that. Right. So what I would like, if you would, is share any survey information or any okay. deed, legal description. Well, when he got the permit, the permit came over and did all the diagrams and showed what part was ours. 
But the permit, the permit, the permit, the permit guide might not be as accurate as the survey. So that's what I'm saying. We, uh, she had, she had, a, we had a survey done, right. and showed slightly different lines. I mean. Not huge, but Senator Gloss will be it's happy to share. I'm under the impression that the lines are a little bit uh, off. off. They are. But once again, the question becomes we start moving things, it becomes a. Let's share the information. I will tell you from long, hard experience that sometimes surveys don't match up, and you, have, and you have to go way back into the past of when they were originally created to find out who transposed something on a line or something like that. But if you share your information, yeah, it's, it's we'll a consult. small margin, and, yep. and the fact that the fence is a little wonky. Well, that needs to be fixed. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's I'll agree with that. Yeah, don't, don't fix the fence yet. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you can yeah. 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 so yeah. yeah. talk to the park one, put a point. Well, you must see the metal. Yeah, yeah. Share, yeah. share that information. Yeah, I saw it looks like the one's posted. And I'll be coordinating back and forth. Yeah. But I think I do remember that the but I think I do remember that there is an issue with that lot line. Uh, we understand that, but I thought we were trying to be on the on the easier about it, like pull back a little the, bit. The, the fence was installed part of the parking lot. The fence was done. It's part of what? The fence was done by the power. I don't know how the fence was procured. So. Yeah, it's it's where the fence is. That's the uh, that, that's the fence they're talking. You're not talking about the fence that's uh, perpendicular to Black Horse Pike. You're talking about the one that's parallel. It's parallel to Black Horse Pike. That was put in during the uh, uh, the parking lot. Yeah, we'll go outside when we're done. Yeah, you have to come out of the van. Share the information. I'll look into it. I'll get to the bottom of the report back. Okay. Nothing. 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 I'd like to see a copy of that. Sir. Yeah, yeah, they're going to oh, share the information. Absolutely. So share, yes. share I, I, any I, I, legal descriptions from your deed. But they didn't ask you the defense that is there that they put up. It's not, they didn't do it properly because no. it was, well, yes, that's, no. that's, that's we'll what get, I'll we'll get, get, so get that. Everyone will see that. It's sort of going like this. And on those so. side, the same thing. And there's also one of the, of the um, planks or whatever. That's it. That's it. I found yeah. that. I put it in the office. <laughs> you do really good. Yeah. You're, you're, I like you. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, no worries. Thank you so much. And, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. If, if, you don't, if you don't have the ability to see your email, if you just stop by my office, this is right there, we'll scan it and make copies right then and there. So you just stop in uh, for opening during the five of the day. So, and that's easy. Oh, very good. Oh, there he goes. You got it. Thank you. 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 Thank um, we are going to, David, do you want to close the meeting and then we'll do the education? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Now, this, this is going to take me at least even rushing in about 45 minutes. Okay. So, uh, Half hour. Yep. Okay, yeah. well, that's it. Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Mr. Arkley, second on discussion. All in favor? Meeting is adjourned at 7.30. The <laughs>